Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's a Friday on footies. Kind of a weird one though, because we're going to have the same cards and packs, and it's all about the new SBCs and objectives that could be coming out today inside of footies. It's kind of like footies week two, I guess you could call it, but it's kind of a weird one again, since we're not getting new cards and packs today. That's usually what we associate with promo Fridays, but again, as you can see on the screen here, these best of re-releases are still in packs for this entire next week. So what we're really going to focus on today is the SPC content and the objective content, which have been great this past week. And I think today there's some potential for it to even take a step up even further. So we'll talk about that. Of course, there will still be market movements because of preview packs. We'll talk about that as well. And I think it's going to be a big day of SBCs. I really do think that it could be because that's where all of the new content is going to be coming out today. Of course, there's a lot of speculation on what SBCs we might be getting. And especially yesterday with the inclusion of the Bernard and Allen dynamic duo, I think there's more of these to come. I really do think there are more of these to come. There's some rumors about an Arsenal one. There's a lot of, I guess, quote unquote rumors going around right now. But first things first, this is not a rumor. This is actually fact because it was inside of the game code earlier this evening. They released a 96 Kingsley Coman and into the concept cards into the game. Now, it does not show up anymore, but there was a 96 rated Kingsley Coman that was released. This, of course, was a four star, five, we had five star upgrade for the weak foot. That was the promise with that voting uh, that we had on Wednesday. So, this is our winner, right? Of course, you got the Coman 96 rated, 99 pace, 97 dribble. That looks like a pretty solid card, and it's actually a of course, only one pace, but a nine physical boost. And here's a crazy stat. They boosted him up 26 aggression. You can see on his tots card here, he has 44 aggression. This brand new one has got 70 aggression. So that's probably going to make him feel a little bit better for like tackle backs, I guess you could say. Um, but that's going to be a decent card, right? Four star, five star with the Bayern links, with the French links. I know we had Al uh, Alessandrini as a right mid and St. Maximin as a left mid last week. So m many people might not be interested in this SBC, but if it's cheap, it could be nice. So that's one thing that we're quote unquote expecting today. Now there's also a pack that has been added to the code and it hasn't actually been tweeted out yet by Footwatch, but supposedly there is a pack that is in the code that could be released today that is a footies, kind of like how we had the footies player pick for this last week, which is still gonna be out. But there's a new pack that basically guarantees you five different players from footies team one. So basically all of the cards that are in packs right now, five players that are 88 and above. So it's basically an 88 plus pack, but the players are only from footies team one, which actually could be kind of cracked, right? You have a lot of high rated cards in here. You've got a couple team of the years. You got the high rated Messi, the high rated Mbappe. Of course, there's a lot of cards that are in like that 88 rating range that are in packs, right? You've got like a Kaylor Navas, uh, team of the group stage item. You, you've got, you know, um, of course, Atal would not be in there. He's 87 rated, but you have this Fabinho, right? You've got this Berchiche as an 89 rated card. You'd have this, this Perea. I mean, there's a lot of like 88, 89, 90 rated cards that really would just be quote unquote fodder out of this SBC, to be completely honest. But they're, you know, Ruben Diaz, Future Stars would be one of those kind of a fodder card. Odegaard, um, you know, Laporte, 88 rated, 22,000 coins. But again, then you have potential for other players to pack out of this SBC. Of course, like the Ansu Fati, the team of the Aramos, team of the De Bruyne. Road to the final Rashford's pretty decent, right? Some of these other players like team of the years, especially Ronaldo, right? Everybody's going to be after a team of the year Ronaldo basically today from that kind of pack. But that would be an SBC that probably a lot of people would be interested in if it were to get released today on Friday. Now, let's keep talking about SBCs because honestly, there could be a lot of them today. Now, we've had the footies favorites that have been being released, right? Of course, we've got the Carval Hall. That was a voting SBC. That wasn't a favorite, but we had the footies October favorite, St. Maximin that was released. We had the Alex Tellez as well. And again, as EA have said, we haven't technically had any footies November favorites yet. And these are supposed to be coming out on the weekend during the footies campaign. They were going to uh, do themed SBCs around a specific month and a popular foot player item from that period in the cycle. Well, this is the SBC that people are hoping for today, 
and expecting today. And that's because this guy right here, 84, Renato Sanchez, was released on November 10th. As you can see right here, November 10th of last year is when this was released. So very high expectations for this 84 Renato to be released today. Now, of course, the 82 Renato is what put him on the map this year as an overpowered card. But of course, this 84 uh, was, you know, very expensive with a ton of hype earlier on this year. So I really think it's possible if we're getting a Renato Sanchez card in FIFA that it would come this weekend. Today would be a perfect day for them to drop a huge Renato Sanchez SBC or objective, right? It technically, since the last thing that we had for Renato was an SBC, I think it's possible they can make him a milestone objective just like they did with Atal. Imagine having a midfield of 94 Atal and maybe like a 93 or a 94 Renato Sanchez as well. That would be unbelievable. Imagine they juice him up to like five star, five star. I mean, that, that'd be nuts too. That would be crazy if they gave Renato Sanchez five star skills. But that's the kind of content I think a lot of people are hoping for today. Um, whether it's an objective, whether it is a um, milestone or an SBC. Tavernier, by the way, I got to play one more game and score one more goal with an English player to get this done. I've got Alessandrini done as well. I would expect to see probably like they did last week, two more players coming in the next few days um, out of the objectives tab. So again, huge potential today. So we have the Coman SBC, maybe a Renato Sanchez card coming out. Maybe we have another one of these dynamic duos uh, via objectives or via SBCs. Um, and then, of course, you start to think about, um, you know, that that footy is 88 plus times five. Uh, that could be a really exciting thing as well. Some player picks are expiring tomorrow. There's a handful of SBCs that are going away. The 81 plus player picks are going away. The 85 to 90 gold or the 85 to 90 upgrade. Some of the voting the SBCs are going away as well. But a lot of stuff is staying, right? A lot of stuff is staying. I think like the icon moments might be going away as well. And a lot of these, you know, party bag picks from throughout the week that we have interacted with are going to be going away. But again, that's kind of really what we're expecting content wise today is just a lot of hype, a lot of potential around these SBCs. And again, EA has been delivering during this promo. So I really hope that they bring the hype today with some big time cards and some big time upgrades on those players that's what we're really hoping out hoping and watching for now again talking about the cards that were in packs yesterday we bought some stuff and we traded with some stuff um whether it was in packs whether it was out of packs i bought this again at 409 sold at 440 just like last friday a lot of people are expecting these cards that are in packs to have a drop off today i do think that there will be some of a drop off it just depends on the promo packs that they put out right of course right now we have got the 87 plus star pack that's going to be expiring and the content drop today we have the gold players premium preview pack and we have all those different packs that were added to the code earlier this past week i think it's going to be a big day of preview packs again and i think that is going to supply the market the drop-offs won't be as insane as last week especially since a lot of these cards have already dropped off so much it's like in real realistically how much more can a card like this drop off? You look at like a team of the year Lewandowski, who technically we're taking a watch at right now because of the Coman that is going to be released today. This guy actually isn't up. He's He's been around like 110 to 120. He's got a lot of supply at 120. So maybe I'll snag one of these and see if he rises up a bit into the morning. Some of your other Bundesliga links are starting to rise, like Alfonso Davies and stuff like that. But this is just an example how much lower can a card like this really, really go, right? Yeah, you're probably going to see some panic selling today on some of these cards as they hit and get supplied. And even like Cristiano Ronaldo, team of the year, these guys are really just going to take another hit in price today. And are they going to be able to withstand that supply uh, and bounce back up? It all depends on the card, I think. So whether you're trying to trade with these cards today or if you're just trying to buy one for your team, I think that all the cards from batch one are going to be cheaper later on next week. Again, that is my opinion. I think they will continue to drop. So um, today could just be a day where you try to flip some of these cards with supply. And I also think if we're going to have good pack supply from the previews again, that's just going to drop fodder even lower. And SBC fodder is actually in the bin at the moment because we've had so much supply. I was not expecting yesterday to have that much supply. Now you're already seeing 84s start to rebound again with the potential of today being a huge SBC day. But, 
you know, last week with the uh, footies player pick pack that was repeatable last week, if we would have that footies 88 plus times five, that would be a fodder, uh, something that a lot of people would do with their fodder. Again, a Renato Sanchez SBC. I think it makes sense for me why people are trying to buy up some SBC cards right now is because the SBC content that could be coming in today could be insane. So, right, it makes sense that a lot of these cards are up. But technically, for how their prices have been in the last few days, these 84s at 7K are pretty low. 83s at th under 4,000 are pretty cheap. The 85s at 10, 11,000 coins are definitely down. So it is something to watch out for today. But again, at the most, I would just buy a few and put it in a club if you're going to expect to do an SBC today. Uh, now, if it's a Renato Sanchez SBC, then maybe you just wait until there's upgrade pack SBCs out and then you wait to craft them a little bit later. Uh, during the week. That's always my approach is the little bit later in the week crafting scenario. Um, but that's just kind of one thing I wanted to mention about fodder. Because again, right now, the way they're controlling fodder prices in this game is literally with the preview packs. It is with the preview packs and with the quality of the SBCs that they put out. That's how they're being able to control it, man. And again, this is how it's crazy, right? And we're going to see this happen in FIFA 22. We were talking about this on stream today. They were able to control fodder prices in earlier earlier this year in FIFA with like what player days or especially in the first couple months of the game, just dropping a tradable pack supply SBC, like a 25k pack for like six to seven thousand coins, right? That would supply 83s, 84s, and you know, even some of the lower tier meta cards that were golds that were popular at that time. We'd always had those mini market crashes, right? Now, this just gives them another way that they can do that with these preview packs because everybody opens them. And then if they get something decent, if they're going to make profit, then they're going to buy that pack and sell the player. And that just brings more supply onto the market. And that's why this stuff drops. So I think we'll get big time preview packs supply today. I don't see why EA would go soft on those, to be completely honest with you. Um, and again, just like we saw last Friday, there will probably be some drops. But I don't think you'll see insane, incredibly crazy drops on some of these cards that have already gone down so much. Like, I actually want to check Van Dyke. That was a card that I wanted to kind of keep my eyes on. Because today I was kind of looking at him under 200,000 coins. And I want to see if he rebounded back at all. And he has barely. He was like 190 and he's back at 200. So, crazy to see some of these cards just continually get more and more supplied. And honestly, just makes me think that they're going to go a little bit lower that's why if you're trying to trade with stuff today on FIFA, this is what I'd watch out for. I'd watch out watch out for Summer Stars and Path to Glory and some Team of the Season items that just naturally fluctuate in price, right? I'd focus on some of these cards, especially La Liga ones that might be needed for the weekend league, like Modric, uh, like the Gomez from, from Team 2, uh, Richarlison with the links to the Bernard and the Allison that have come out, uh, or the Allen and the Bernard, those links... Uh, with Richarlison, I definitely keep an eye on. Ferran Torres is one card that I want to kind of mention too because he's a card that bounces around a lot, right? You can buy him at like 120, 125, sell him in the 140 range, right? Cavani is one of my other favorite cards to trade with. The stuff that is really moving the most consistently that you don't have to worry about crashing any time with supply, so it makes it a little bit less stressful to trade with, are some of these uh, Summer Star items on the weekend. Cavani was just 170 a little bit ago. If I saw a 145 on this, I would I would snag it because I know that I would be able to get a sale on a Cavani probably in like the 160 high range and boom, I'd be making a little bit on the flip there. So that's 100% what I'd be doing. I mean, even like a Lukaku or a Kane, um, these cards are just decently rare and they have enough demand that they're fluctuating around and they're pretty rare. So that's kind of where I'd be trading, maybe some icons if you wanted to as well. But that stuff is out of packs, right? And that makes it definitely easier to trade with. Now, also, I'll just keep an eye out and watch out for some of your La Liga cards dropping off again out of the weekend league, of course. When we can leave um, plus objectives for the specific leagues or nations, you definitely see some drop off, even starting on like Saturdays, right? So as we get into tonight on Friday, if there's any La Liga cards that you want to get out, you want to take the coins on. I would do that sooner rather than later, if I'm being completely honest, because that might be the smartest thing to do so that you don't lose too many coins, right? That's my opinion there. So yeah, boys, for today's content, again, the same cards are going to be in packs unless they change something last second. We're going to have a Coman SBC today, but possibly Renato Sanchez, possibly another dynamic duo, you know, new objectives. It's all going to depend on the objectives, the SBC content today. It's going to carry this Friday on FIFA, in my opinion. Fingers crossed for that Renato Sanchez. I'm going to get my last couple games here done. 
um, for at least finish my Tavernier and can continue working on the Atal grind, right? I'm, uh, I think I need to play like 10 more games and then finish my total progress with Atal before I get the 94. But I got the 91 and we're grinding, right? As a lot of you guys did this week as well. Sunday night's going to be a big night for squad battle rewards. We'll talk about that and how that could affect the market later on. So that's the video for today, boys. It is a promo Friday, but it's kind of an abbreviated one, right? We'll see what they drop for the content. Hope it's a banger. Hope it's great cards with great stats. We already know about Kings of Coman. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about that down below in the comments, already knowing that that should be the SBC winner for today. But that's the video, boys. Again, give a thumbs up if you did enjoy and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.